Welcome back YouTube, this is DRZ. Today I'm gonna to attempt to put on a honeycomb grill on my 2016 Audi TT base model, the coupe. I'm gonna to try to make this as short as possible. This is the honeycomb grill that I just got on eBay, um, even though it came damaged. But I happen to use this type of like bonding paste, which you mix those two together and then you put it on the crack spot which is like right here you leave it on overnight and it should harden and then it's really hard so anyway this is the honeycomb grill black part of my dog um also to hook up the sides vents of the tt i was gonna customize this uh grill right here i mean uh this uh yeah this grill and put it on the sides right here this is what i'm gonna do And I'm back. All right, well, I have successfully installed the um, the honeycomb grill on my uh, 2016 Audi TT Coupe, uh, the base model. It came out really nice. It was such a hassle though. It has like a million, what felt like a million screws everywhere that holds onto this bumper. This is my first time working on a, um, a uh, German car. I didn't realize how many screws they use. It's nothing near easy like a Honda which I've had in the past. But anyways, this is how it looks like. I have like the European um, plastic like uh, plate holder, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna have to use that for now. Drill two holes as you can see. So this was a hassle. Yes, it has millions of screws. Like, you know, like four here, like 10 or 12 or something underneath on the bottom. Same thing on this side. You got like four over here. And of course, screws that, even screws that hold on the bumper to the grill has like a million screws, I don't know, like seven or 10 on this side. Same thing, like five or six on the bottom. Same thing, five or six on the top. But overall, I'm happy, even though there is one little downside to it. I replaced the um, parking sensor right here, as you can see. Um, I tried both, uh, I put in the, um, original one that I had in the other grill and then the um, an aftermarket which I was recommended by one of the guys on the Audi forums um, both of them still gives me issues saying there's um, like no parking detection or a malfunction or something like that I'm still trying to figure it out so you know if you guys can uh, you know know anything about this you guys can give me a quick hand on how to you know resolve this issue which i don't think there really much i can do but i don't want to go back to the original grill because after putting this one this is such a badass grill and there you go hope you guys enjoyed